Hi, this is David Desert of Pankinology. A question that comes up in patient forums is, how do I find a good clinical trial? I'm currently enrolled in two clinical trials, and that is a topic that I've looked into over several years. Today I'm going to share with you one of the ways that I evaluate the prospects of clinical trials for pancreatic cancer. Probably the best way to check on prior results of a particular drug candidate is by using PubMed. PubMed is an online NIH biomedical literature search engine. You can use it to look up peer-reviewed published research on all kinds of research, but in this case, I'm going to use it to find prior clinical trial results for a particular drug. So let me demonstrate with an example. Let's say we're interested in a clinical trial that is using CPI-613, which now has the name Devimstat. As a potential participant in that trial, I'd be interested in the results that other people had when taking the drug. So we'll bring up my window with DuckDuckGo, and I'm going to type in for PubMed. Let's look for that, and go to the official site. And that brings us to the PubMed with the search box here. And I'm going to type in the uh, drug name, <coughs> CPI. 613 or Devimistat and pancreatic cancer. So that gives us um, six results here. We can scroll through those. They, not all of them are clinical trials, and I'm really interested in the clinical trials. So on this left side, there's this filters that I have here. And I can click on the box for article type called clinical trial. And that gives us down, gets us down to two results. And there are, uh, first one here looks like it is the clinical trial results for the phase one clinical trial. And the second one is really just a description of the phase three clinical trial that's going to, going to happen for this. And I don't expect any results to be inside that. So it's also interesting here that uh, there's this free PMC article here. That means that the text, the full text, is available to anyone for free. So let's uh, click on this first article. What this does is gives us the abstract, which we should be able to get for any of those search results that were there. The background. It always starts with the obligatory dire cancer statistics and then gives a little overview of the drug that's going to be tested. The methods talks about the patients and their treatments. This being a phase one clinical trial, it's a, usually a dose, escalation of doses until people can't tolerate the treatment anymore, and then they back off the dose for a little bit and use that for subsequent trials. So this finding section, this is what you want to really pay attention to. Again, as a phase one clinical trial, what they're mainly looking for is the adverse reactions experienced by the patients, and you'll see them listed here. They don't usually report them until they're grade three or more. And grade five reactions result in the death of a patient, so you don't want to see any grade five deaths in here. So let's see, if we're looking through here, looks like the most common reaction is this um, hypoglycemia or increased blood sugar, more than half of the people. And then there's this statement that's down here, it says 17 out of 18 patients suffered sensory neuropathy, which caused them to have dose reductions or quit altogether. That's interesting, but it, make, it makes me wonder how it ties into this other statement up here that says only five of eight had grade three to four peripheral sensory neuropathy. So you may also see some tumor response results too, and here it is on the last line. Of the 18 patients who reached the maximum tolerated dose, 61% had some type of tumor shrinkage, and that's a pretty good result. But you have to remember this is a small group, but it's still encouraging. Then here's some figures that you can have access to, and they're usually enlightening. Oh, and look, here's a link down here that means another researcher read this paper that gives you a kind of 
and they found something significant about it and uh, decided to write their own paper in response to it. And it can give you a little bit of insider information of what the research community is thinking about this drug. So these uh, similar articles down here, they're not that always that relevant in this situation. I just kind of look quickly to see if there's another clinical trial that the search might have missed. But I don't think so, that happened here. And next are these papers that cite this paper, and like that comment paper above, uh, they can give you other insights into this treatment, such as speculations on how the treatment worked, or they might even tell you uh, it seemed to work well in particular subgroups, which would be very interesting if you're thinking about getting in the trial. Now, if you want to see the entire paper, the entire paper results, you've got to scroll all the way back up here to where it says uh, full text links, and, and I like to click on this PMC free full text, and uh, you can get the entire paper. Well, and there you have it. That's just one of the ways that I research clinical trial drugs. Not all drugs will have human clinical trial results in PubMed, especially the untested ones. But there are still other methods that can find useful information, such as ASCO posters, drug company investor reports, and a few others. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.